Hey guys, welcome back to Missledyne Online. Now this is a special video I'm doing, and it's a, the Tetra Master tutorial. Now, before I realized that um, on my last my last Tetra Master video with Alloway Jack, I realized that I really didn't go into detail about about the game itself, and and that's bad. Um, I watched it and I realized that if I've never played the game before, I would have thought. I wouldn't have gotten it. So, what I'm here to do today in the village of Dali is show you some Tetra Master. Now, years ago, I actually looked at a Game Facts Fact um, about Tetra Master, and you can check that out yourself by going to GameFacts.com, and it's by Trifton, T R I F T H E N, Final Fantasy IX Tetra Master Fact. It's a very good idea. Now, I'm just going to go over here and show you. Now you can go up to anyone, press triangle, uh, triangle, press square, and they'll say, do you want to play a card game? Why yes. Yes, in fact, I do. Well, you'll have to buy something from the store if I win. No! Alright, now, card selection. Haha. -ha. You can only have a hundred cards at a time, which is handy because there are exactly a hundred slots for cards through here. Seriously. So, all these multiples would have to go away if you want to get every single card in the game. You would only be able to have one of each. Now, th this is kind of interesting. Let's start with the Cactuar card. See on the Cactuar card how it says 2, P, 9, 0. The 2 is the power of the card. The P is the card type. P means physical. M would be magic, X means power card, or A means, well, an awesome card. D is the physical defense, which is the 9, and the last slot is magical defense, which is the 0. Now, see how it's only got two arrows? That's, that's not too great, but let's get into the game and I'll show you what I mean by arrows. Um, I'm trying to just pick... Pick some random card. There we go. So if you look at the bomb card, the bomb card's got a one um, power of the card. It's a magic card. It has zero physical defense, but it has one magic defense. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's continue and use Fang. Okay. Now, just a reminder, I am not the great at, at this game. So, all right. So they went. And these blocks are actually pretty, uh, pretty efficient. Now, um, what happens is there's these card battles when the arrows hit each other. Numbers go against each other. The computer then rolls a number between zero and, and whatnot. And then from phase one, and it, it's really complicated on the whole math section. Um, it's, it's really actually complicated. So I would suggest going and checking out uh, his game fact. I'll be honest. I, I don't know how to do the math for this, um, but I know that the game makes up a number on its own that you can't see, and that can be bad. Alright, so let's go and take this card, but you want to make sure you're defended. So we just got into a card battle, and I won. And I'm not even sure why. Look at we have the exact same power, the exact same same type of card, zero physical defense and zero magic defense. Now, you can actually get a combo. So you basically don't want any cards arrows to be touching. And that's actually a really complicated thing, but you 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 don't want it to happen. Um, now, what he just did is he put that card there, but it's easily easily taken because he doesn't have an arrow in the corner there on his Zagnal card that he just put down. So I can take that, and I don't have to worry about my card getting taken at all. So boom. Awesome. I was I was kind of hoping I was going to get to show you, um, show you guys some. Alright, so let's see how physical does against magic. Good! Perfect! Wow, that was cool. Good thing for on a tutorial video. So I got a perfect. That means I get all of his cards. Pretty cool stuff. Yes, I want to play a rematch. 
Sorry, I have a script here. Not a script, but a, a guidelines of sorts. Now, cards with no arrows are used to make sure you don't get comboed. So, don't think that a card with no arrows is a bad thing. Um, it can actually help if you're afraid of getting a, com uh, a combo against you. Um, which does happen. I I've had combos against me that have taken all my cards at one time. Um, and let me tell you, that is absolutely the worst thing you can get to happen. Um, you know, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Now, for winning, whoever controls more cards wins the game, obviously. You get to pick card from opponent and get a perfect all cards, just like you just saw. However, the same goes for your opponent. So, if the other guy gets a perfect against you, he gets all of your cards, so make sure you don't have any rare ones. The collector level is determined by value of all your cards, and I'll show you that in a second. The point system is a little complicated. You can head over to the fact to see. If you still have questions, you can PM me or comment on the videos below. Now, here's an important attribute. See, that was stupid on my part, because that, that card can easily be taken. Now, a cards can level. A 0p00 card can become a 1p00 card. A physical card will wipe the floor with magic, but magic will beat physical if low magic defense. X is a power card. Lowest of defending cards defense is used. Yeah, that's right. The lowest defense of the other card is used. So, say he has a, a an A for physical defense. You can't get through that, but his magic is a zero. Well, your X card is going to use that zero, and it's basically going to make sure you get that card. Now, if you're coming across an X and you have to take the X, the best thing for you to do... See, and that's a combo. That one hurt. That one hurt bad. Awesome. Very done. Look at that. Another perfect. <laughs> Better than I thought I was. Now, to take an X, if you're going against, you need to take an unprotected corner, a card with high defense, or use a strong card to just overwhelm it. X cards can only gain the upper hand when defense value is low. Now, an A card, that's where it's at. Yeah, that's right. An A card has uh, two ways. You can win it, or X evolves into an A. That's it. That's the only way to get them. You have to win it, or the X evolves. Now, as, 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 as much as this is confusing, but... Now, this is the cool thing. An A card takes the lowest of any stat as the defense. So an attack becomes highest stat on a card, or, or the defense becomes the highest stat on a card, or whatever. But, an A... So attack power is whatever the highest stat is on the card. So you say you have a zero attack on an A card. So you have zero attack, but your defense is an A. That means you have an A for an attack and an A for defense. That's pretty cool. A cards, obviously worth it. Now, there's blocks. If one or two can hide one of your cards, do it. Use weakest card or one that doesn't work well. Wall cards are two corners. Set up combos with an 8 card corner in the center. Can take whole board if lucky. So, you would save whatever card you have the most for, and you would be able to put it in the center if you were given the opportunity, and you'd basically be able to take every single card there. So, just a little more. Remember, it's very. this game is very much dependent on numbers, um, hidden numbers, luck, stuff like that. But perhaps, perhaps the biggest thing here, the, I would say, the biggest issue I have with this game, and I think a lot of other people have with this game, is that that hurt, right there, that, that, that hurt pretty bad. So, I'm gonna lose this one, but that's okay. Oh, it's a draw. It's a draw. <laughs> but yes. So, the biggest issue I have with this game 
um, with the Tetra Master, not Final Fantasy IX. I love Final Fantasy IX. It's the best Final Fantasy IX or Final Fantasy game there is. That's just, just a proven fact. But what I really like about this game, or what I don't like about this game, excuse me, is that it's. I don't even know how to how to say it. It's. It's. Uh. It, it, there's no point of it. There really isn't. There's an absolutely no point of this game. And, and that's... That's okay. But, I mean, you... You have to have a reason to play it, you know? And, and the game doesn't give you a reason to. The game does not, in any sense, give you a reason to play it. And I think that's too bad. Um, so, yeah, I would have loved that Yeti card. I would have loved it. But there's, there's absolutely no reason to play this game, and that sucks. So, I mean, you can check it out, or you can not check it out. However, there will be a point later on in the game where they force you to win a couple Tetra Masters. That's just a, a heads up. Um, so you want to be comfortable with the game, and you want to watch. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. It was a little more in-depth than, than the last video I did, and... If you guys have any other questions, be sure to check out the fact on GameFacts.com by Trifton. If you have any other questions for me, be sure to private message me, inbox me, uh, leave a comment, favorite, whatever you want to do. And I'll be sure to uh, to get back to you on any, any questions you have. Um, it is a complicated game, and it takes a lot of practice to, to do. Um, but just remember, key things here is arrows. Take cards that don't have arrows. Um, you can take a card, no matter what, if you have an arrow and they don't. As long as your arrow is hitting a spot on that card that doesn't have an arrow, you'll take it. But remember that your opponent can do the exact same thing. So you have to find that blend between, between uh, if you want it to be an, an offensive game or a defensive game, and it's completely up to you. Alright, thank you for watching, and be sure to watch the rest of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I hope this video was, was pretty, pretty informative. See you next time. Just kidding! I forgot something somewhat important. Now, if you go to your main menu um, by pressing probably the triangle button, I know that's what it is on mine, you'll find this little thing called card. Hit card and you can go to this. This is what I meant to show you, collector's level. Now if you look where my mouse, where my cruiser could not go, at the collector's level, 185p, beginner. Now, that goes up depending on how many cards you have, what type of cards, are they rare, what level they are. Um, there's a bunch of things that actually go into your collector's level. But the higher collector's level you get, um, there's a, a special item you get later on that does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Which I think is a, a fatal flaw in this entire system. This is the one thing I hate about Final Fantasy IX. The whole Tetra Master system. It is a fun game, but with what? There's no substance to it at all. Absolutely no substance. It's a confusing game. It's more confusing than it should be. It absolutely should offer something, get people involved, you know? And, and it's too bad, because this is, everything else in this game is fantastic, except for this major, major flaw. Um, and if you guys remember, in Final Fantasy VIII, for instance, um, th that game, that card game that was there, uh, Triple Triad, Triad, um, that game, you wanted to get cards, because you could mod them for items, and really worthwhile items too, not like a potion or something. Most of them were like, this is the only way you can get a hundred of this item to junction into your stat and make your strength max 255. In this game, nothing. A collector's level. It's something for completionists, and I'm a completionist, and I still don't want to do this. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know what the collector's level is, and how you can do that. You'll actually get to a town later on in the game, and I'll, sh I'll obviously show you that to you guys, um, where you can get certain ranks. Uh, I think S rank is the highest you can get. S rank is the highest collector's level. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and, and let you guys know. All right, now I'm really saying see you next time. Um, the next part, I think it's part 17, should be out um, probably within the next uh, hour, a couple hours or so. All right, thanks again. Have a good one.